For the kettlebell goblet walking lunge, the first thing we need to do is clean that kettlebell up from the floor to a good goblet position. From there, we can begin the walking lunge. It's so critical to take the time to get it in a good position because you don't want to waste time or energy worrying about how you're holding onto that kettlebell. So do it right the first time. We'll begin by centering that kettlebell between our feet. Our feet are shoulder width apart, toes straight ahead, heels are down. We're going to line up this handle with the center of the feet. Next, we're going to bend at the knees and hips, spreading the floor apart with the feet, driving the knees out, butt back, keeping a nice flat neutral spine. Extend those arms out, wrap the thumb and fingers around that kettlebell, making sure the wrists are straight and the hands are together. We're going to bend that handle backwards as we rotate the biceps forward, screwing our shoulders into our upper back. Taking a deep belly breath, extend the knees and hips, shrug the shoulders and catch that kettlebell as low as you can on the handles. Make sure the wrists are straight, forearms are vertical, elbows are tucked in nice and tight, resting on the rib cage. To initiate movement, we're going to shift weight over towards what's going to be our back leg. In this case, my right leg is going to be my back leg. I'm going to leave with my left. I'm going to take a nice long stride with that leading leg, plant that foot flat, lower myself to that back knee two to four inches above the ground. Then I'm going to simultaneously push off my back leg as I drive through my front. Then I'm going to alternate. This time I'm going to step forward with my right leg. So I'm going to shift weight over towards my left leg. Take that nice long stride. Drive through. Show you a couple more reps. Again, shift the weight over towards the back leg. Keep a nice upright torso the entire time. Make sure that front foot stays flat. Once all reps are complete, bring the feet back to shoulder width apart. Lower that kettlebell down to the hips. Bend at the knees and hips with a nice flat spine. Return that kettlebell to the floor and release. That's how you do a kettlebell goblet walking lunge.